happy Saturday. Today is July 3rd, 2011, whatever that means. But uh, exactly one year ago today, on July 3rd, 2010, I realized that that was the first day that I ever shared the Flowetry live to a big audience. And uh, it was here in Peaceburg, Pennsylvania that I did that. I called it semi-spontaneous flowetry then and um, it was the first time that I really transcended this fear of, of sharing flowetry and it was really because my friends inspired me to do it and they were like yeah it's really worth doing and um, I today I've been looking back at all the videos that I've made and Sam has made and Becca's made over the past a year and a half that we've had this channel Cosmic Revolution KS and I'm realizing that I mean our whole channel is kind of a collective effort you know and we the videos that I've been making are always because I'm inspired by other people and they're influencing me to share these ideas or they tell me about an idea and then I just go on YouTube and share it and uh, I think it fits in with this Native American concept called Omitakuye Oyasin, which means all my relations. So we have this web of relationships that we're constantly in, and there's not really any separate self. It's only in our minds that we see ourselves as these isolated beings, and really what we are is our relationships. And so, I've been today going back over all these videos and just seeing how all these different relationships have spurred me making these videos and my friends making these videos. And so I've uh, compiled a bunch of playlists that kind of each have a topic that I cover throughout those videos in that playlist. and. Um, it's just really incredible to me that a year ago today, it's July 3rd, that was a big day for me to really step out of my comfort zone. And since then, I feel like life has just been incredible, ineffably incredible. It just, it's unable to put it into words how incredible life is. And so on July 5th, 2010, that's when the group of my friends and I, the cultural recyclists, we left Peaceburg and started heading west towards San Francisco on our bicycles. And um, our whole journey is is on our cultural recyclist YouTube channel. But a lot of the videos in some of these playlists I made during the bike trip, and then I came back from the bike trip in December. And for the last seven months, I've been in Peaceburg. Uh, doing all sorts of things and making videos and um, so I just compiled these playlists today and um, I feel that they they exemplify a certain theme most of them so one of them is just called creating new culture and that has some videos about how, things we can do to take energy out of the current culture that we're dissatisfied with and really create something new. Another one is solutions that we can do. I mean, that one's similar, but it's just very simple things we can do while thinking locally or thinking globally and acting locally. Another one is stories and metaphors. I feel if we if we think about things with new concepts and new metaphors, then it's just really a nice way to be able to grasp things so that has some weird stories and metaphors and things like that and those are almost always inspired by things I hear from other people um, like Robert Anton Wilson or somebody like that another playlist is called cosmic conversations uh, either conversations between Sam and I or there's one with a good friend of mine Adam Hintz there's one with Charles Eisenstein Another playlist are the music videos that Sam has primarily been making. Those 
just blow me away every time. They're so beautiful. Um, another playlist is just called Philosophical's Highlights. It's just some of the videos that I feel best demonstrate what I'm trying to express. Um, another one is called Philosophize with Waffle Fries. I just like the way those words rhyme. Um, just me sharing random ideas that come through me or I hear somewhere. Another one is called Life is Awesome because life is awesome. And uh, whether it's good or bad, I think life is worthy of being in awe. And there's a quote that says, if you're not if you're not in awe, then you're not paying attention. <laughs> Another one is called Analyzing Culture. Um, Sam and I are always analyzing our culture and what cult culture means. It's kind of the, the constant gel that we're immersed in, that we're so surrounded by that we don't even notice it. Um, Another playlist is just called Charles Eisenstein because he's... Uh, one of the authors that has influenced me most and, most and inspired me most. So there's some videos of me reading his essays and uh, videos of him speaking. Another one is all the flowetries of, that I've shared and that my friends have shared. And then the last one is meditations where I have some meditations that I share. And all of these playlists kind of interweave and intermingle and they're all related because everything is related and it's all omitakuye oyasin, all my relations. So thank you for being part of all my relations and check out these playlists if you would like. We've got like 140 videos on this channel so Please explore and share and make video responses because life is in ineffably incredible and you are alive. So go live, live spontaneously, do a backflip, do something you never did before. Peace and love. Scoobily do. Farewell.